Develop a fortune, state of mind, state of mind. It's time for a date with, time for a date with, a date with the Dorseys. Hey, hey, we are back another day. And in the words of Steve Harvey, we got a good one for you today. Home run hitter. <laughs> That nephew Tommy is that Steve? One of them. <laughs> but this is Dr. Jatan and Floyd Dorsey. Hence the date with the Dorseys. We are back, back, back. And we have a topic that I know many of you out there secretly. 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 Some of you secretly. On the low. On the low low. <laughs> <laughs> Want to know <laughs> the inside scoop on this. And others, you know, you may be more comfortable in communicating the fact that, you know, it is some an area that you can improve in or take some tips on. There you go. I think it's food for everybody. Food for everybody. Eat the fish. Spit, spit out, out the, the bone. bone. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, so in other words, translation, you take what you need and you leave the rest of it on the table. That's it. <laughs> so today we are talking about reinforcing the, the foundation of you. Reinforcing the foundation of you. It's so much packed in that, that so topic. Much. I think yeah. we could do a series on that I, I, in so many yes, different ways, right? I agree. But today is more specifically talking about your confidence. Yes. That confidence. is a strong part of your foundation. And so many of us, again, struggle with the confidence, or should I say the lack thereof. Uh Uh-oh. And it comes out in various ways. You know, we have have our own unique ways to um, request attention, so to say, right? (laughs) And if you don't realize that or know that about a person, you may think that it's other things. But that's what we're, we're all looking to be loved. We're all looking to be, you know, acknowledged and recognized. Exactly. And sometimes it comes out in ways our lack of confidence may come out in ways that, you know, you may think you're disguising it or, or it's hidden, mm-hmm. but others see it. That's the, that's yes, the thing. That, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they see me, we see you, you know, it's, it's, it's noticeable. So don't think it's uh, truly been hidden. Right. Right. And you may even be in denial yourself and not realize that your actions are coming from that place. Exactly. And you think it's just you. That's what you do. <laughs> However, you know, truly deep down inside, when you get to the root of the matter and get mm-hmm. past that surface, that's truly where it's coming from. The lack of confidence. Yeah. So the first place we want to talk about having confidence in is in a professional setting. Yes. In your work. You know, what do you do day in and day out, whether you own your own business or you, know, you go in, you punch the clock or, or whatever it is you do from a professional standpoint. Mm hmm. And I guess there's three key things that we want to talk about from a professional standpoint that I think truly should help or will help people uh, really reinforcing their foundation as it relates to confidence in a professional manner. Yeah. Number one, knowing your value. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Oftentimes people will try to tell you your value or tell you your worth. But it's very important that one, you should truly know yours. Absolutely. Now, again, you'll probably hear me say this throughout this podcast is is your value is not the money you make mm. right yeah because at any given point that can be taken that away. can be taken <laughs> away right right so if my money is in the my value is in the money i make the money goes away that means i'm valueless mm-hmm. i have I, I don't have any value right right, right. yeah and then there's value in your skills that determine that salary or that money that's there coming you go. right right and some so many people really want, uh, you know, you, you want to make more money. Of course, you want to show your value in so many different ways. Uh, but in this case, if you don't have the skills, you can always go learn the skills. Right? Absolutely. Go pick up the skills. Go yes. get the training. <laughs> right. That, that Those are things that can't be taken away from you. Right. You once you really know your value, know your worth. I'm talking about the core mm-hmm. of you. Right. The, the part of you that says I will go above and beyond. The part of you that says I have integrity. You know, that part that. You can't separate from you and no one can take that away from you. Right, right. Your skills. These are things that you really either took time to learn through classes in school or something, some type of craft you worked on to perfect yourself. Or that experience. Can't be ta- or experiences, you, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So those are things that cannot be taken away from you. Right. So if you lose your money, you still have the skill, right? Right. <laughs> to and go out and, and reproduce or make more or do whatever else you try to do. Right. And it's your responsibility to continue to sharpen those skills. Boom. Because just because you had that skill, as you see technology advancing day by day, 
That's you still it. want to be on top of your game so you can t- continue to have that value yeah, with the exactly. corporation, right? Yeah. Um, that also reminds me of when we talk about skills and um, in the professional s- setting, particularly, there are uh, various methods that organizations go about to identify your skills, which will be SWOT analysis and or Gallup or personality tests things. of those different sorts. And all too often, they focus a lot on the weaknesses rather than those strengths and uh-huh. honing in on yes, building sir. those rather than, you know, neglecting those strengths and not, you know, making not really those. putting more emphasis right. on the strength. Like the strength is my bread and butter. Right. Let's this keep, is what I do. keep building on that. <laughs> right. But so, you want me to be all things to everyone. <laughs> it's, it's possible. Right. So where I'm weak, I have somebody else on my team to that, fill may, that, gap. that may be able to yes. fill that gap. So we're all operating on our strengths. Mm-hmm. That makes our team. A strong team right. across the board. And then that's where people struggle as well from a professional standpoint is uh, when you are afraid and feeling like you have to be everything so you can continue to have that value, you then begin to be married to every process and everything. And then you oh, get yeah. overwhelmed and stressed <laughs> out because you're afraid that if somebody else come in and show that they know how to do this, that means I don't, I, I'm not needed. Yes, right? <laughs> yes. But I'm saying, let that thing go if it's not your thing. Right. right? Or, or, or you'll find that people come into the room and they start to say words or experiences they've had or knowledge that they that they've obtained, mm-hmm. and now you begin to feel inferior yourself. Like, well, I'm not as smart. I'm not right. I'm, as what I what, what I am was. I doing in this room? Right. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> so you you can't waver. You mm-hmm. have to stand on your block and who you are and what you know. And if there are new skills or, or things that you realize you're probably falling short and you should be stronger in, go out and do that. That's the time you take to invest in yourself uh, to help you you and your professional standing. Absolutely. So then our next is confidence in your personal. Oh, yeah. So personal. This is very, very important in terms of your, your personal stuff. And, and this could be expressed through networking or oh, yeah. engagement. With, so with there's people. a crossover from personal yeah, absolutely. to professional. There is. Yeah. There is. And too often we, we see this. Um, but I think one of the biggest things that from a personal standpoint is people, uh, they would say that they're in, introverts and things of that nature. But it's really about overcoming the fear mm-hmm. of engaging and really showing up. Like wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Yeah. You know, be the authentic you, but don't be afraid to let that you show. Well, I can say this on that piece. When we talk about overcoming fear, I know that was something that I was truly geared to help people do at one point. Because I know fear holds us back from doing a lot of things, from taking steps, from taking the risk. However, what I've also learned is even when I have speaking engagements or different things like that, job interviews, whatever it is, we always have that little butterfly. That's that it's fear, there. right? That's okay. So it's not necessarily <laughs> overcoming it, but it's doing it despite yeah. the fear. And yeah. then once you make that step and you get into that zone, into that conversation in your networking uh, scenario or wherever it is, you then identify or realize it's not so bad after all. Not so bad after all. And oftentimes what you'll find is that those butterflies or that will come up in situations where it's probably a pretty good moment, right? It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a moment to take advantage of. It's a, it's a good opportunity. So seize that, Mm -hmm. embrace that. Like that's a sign telling you, hey, you're on a good stage now. You're doing something different. You're doing something different. There's something new. Stretching. This is the ability for you to grow, Mm -hmm. right? So overcome that and swallow it and enjoy it, embrace it and and continue to build on it and learn from it. Absolutely. And so you also wanted to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about value and and self, right? Right. I said in self, in self, not outside of self, mm. right? Not, not the appearance of self. Yes. <laughs> right. And the value within self and not in stuff. Yeah. Right. So you, you really want to touch on that. And I know I, I briefly said it, I think it crosses over from a professional standpoint as well as personal too often. Uh, I meet people, I met people and I may have even been this way myself. I don't know. Maybe uh, my wife can, can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> But, but but sometimes we can really lose sight on the true part of who we are. What's, what what makes us unique? What makes us great? What makes us different? Uh, what makes us us? And yeah. it is really the inner part of us. Because I tell you, ladies, your your beauty at some point will change. I'm mm-hmm. not saying it's, it's not saying it to go away, <laughs> but it will just change forms, right? Uh, on the outside, but however, and yours too. Not absolutely, just not just women. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to talk about men because they always want to hustle and get money. And oh, this is about okay, this money, okay. right? You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but for the men, you know, the money will change. There's so many different things in life. Your health will change. Uh, it, it, it's so many different aspects of life that will change. But again, that personal, uh, the confidence within the self, within self, 
is so important and you have to let that shine. You have to find ways to even build on that, right? Not just telling yourself that or not just having this uh, superficial facade to mm. say that I'll, I'm, I'm going to hold my head up and give people the impression that I have confidence. But when you go home behind closed doors, you just break down. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But it's really the sense of believing. What if you have to do self-talk? What if you have to do uh, get pep talks from your friends, whatever it is, there are so many different ways and tools that you can use to continue to build on that personal confidence. Right. And as they say, there are so many ways you can dress up a pig. Right. So when we talk about the uh, the surface level, the exterior showing up, looking good with your best clothes on and your best smile. But when in deep inside, what's going on? in there's there? a struggle. Hey, right. <laughs> so I, I don't know why it is that people think it's OK to put all that effort in just to put save face with others when you're still struggling within. Yep. And that's you're what hurting we're talking on the about. Inside. Yeah. So we're talking about getting beyond uh, the outer shell and saying what's really on the inside of you. And I promise you. What's on the inside of you? It's beautiful. It's it's amazing. It's awesome. But the thing is, if you don't think that way about mm. what's in you, nobody else then will. nobody else will. Nobody will even see it mm-hmm. or even get to experience you. We're all we are. We're all unique and different. And that means something. Mm-hmm. And so when we can express that to so many different in so many different ways to multiple people and different avenues, I mean, amazing things will happen. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And I think that transitions us into the last point on this one is really lifting other people up, right? Yeah. Uh, we, we talked about having a sense of arrogance, uh, being arrogant as opposed to being confident. And I think there's a, it's, it's truly a fine line, um, but actually it's probably not a fine line. It's probably a big, bold line because, <laughs> <laughs> because one thing is truly knowing within self and, and the other one is trying to make convince others of something that you probably really don't believe on the inside of yourself. Either. Yes. You know what I mean? But <laughs> the thing is I am stronger uh, and I feel good, but I feel even better when I'm expressing how great other people are around me Yes. and building other people up. And I think that's the key part is lifting other people up. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, that doesn't mean you're weaker. It just means your strength and strong recognize strong. Yeah. Right? And you're confident in who you are and what you have or, you know, what you are. So taking the time to pat somebody else on the back, acknowledge someone else doesn't take away from your shine. Absolutely right? not. No. If anything, it helps helps you shine more. Exactly. Right? It builds that relationship with other people because they know you care and when it's uh when it's sincere, it's sincere. then that right, right. We gotta say that. When it's sincere, then it's uh it's understood and it, it will be reciprocated. And many and many folks, you know, they feel like not only we talked about the exterior dress, but some people feel like when they are around other people that they have to be uh, loud and flamboyant just to be seen and be realized in a room. Right. Mm, right. And that shows a lack of confidence as well. It could. Right. And it could. Um, some, some people to the core, they're just who that's who they that's are. That's who they are. It could they be just that. show up and being them. And mm-hmm. it just, you know, it's just my personality. Yeah, that's great. And genuinely, when a person is genuinely that way, people can appreciate and right. see that and people embrace it. People can see it, absolutely. When it's a bit over the top and people see so many different aspects yes. of it, you can say, okay, now you, you're no, putting on it. <laughs> yeah. Right. What, what, what's really going Bring on? Bring that down. <laughs> yeah. What's really going on? But to the point, I know we talked about professional, uh, we talked about personal. Absolutely. And then we wanted to tie this last point that we've been talking about a little bit just uh, just now, more into relationships and dating, right? Right. So I, I guess from what we've discussed thus far to tie this all together uh, when you are interacting with your mate it's it's a very similar you know approach to it as we talked about from a professional and personal standpoint agreed and having confidence in yourself you know before even especially for those single folks out there if you 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 on the prowl yeah Yeah. (laughs) you have to you definitely have to have confidence in yourself before someone else will you know acknowledge and appreciate uh, your confidence, it, it. and it has to exude that, right? It has to be especially genuine. for my guys. You have to go get it. Oh, you yes. have you have to you have to believe it, right? <laughs> and you have to be believable. Oh, what? The- <laughs> <laughs> believable. You gotta say it like there that. You go. <laughs> so, oh man, I mean, y'all y'all gotta come with it these days. I'm I'm telling too often, guys. It's like you coming up to someone, engaging them. If you're single, it's the difference between you coming up with a whisper. And mm. you're coming up with a strong tone. And it's a very difference of a response you're going to receive. Yes. Because that whisper may not be heard. It may be ignored or it may be shooed away. Okay. So with him saying this, <laughs> <laughs> it's 
He never whispered to me when we were dating. Well, no, no. <laughs> it was almost like a command, but he didn't say it commandingly like if that makes any sense. Like yeah. he wasn't telling me what to do, but he was telling me what to do. I want you to believe it and yes. know it, right? <laughs> and it was so, so believable, yeah. as I said earlier, that I couldn't say no. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, brothers, take note to what he just said. <laughs> oh boy, it's funny. Wow. Okay. I guess I was, I guess I was pretty good. Yeah, I guess you were. You won. You All won. Right. <laughs> but a point to make on that is uh especially with your mates, for those who are in some relationships or, or if you are dating, married, whatever it may be, you want to speak life into mm. your significant other. Yeah. Oftentimes some of sometimes our confidence or our belief in self may waver a bit uh in, in one direction or another. Life can really throw us blows, believe it or not. Yeah. And I'm sure we've all experienced those. But if you're with someone, it's important to just speak life. I mean, those words of encouragement, words of reinforcement, you know, they truly go a long way, especially in relationships. Absolutely. And continuing that and not just doing it in the beginning, at the end, you know. That's it. It's got to be continuous. It has to be continuous. And meaningful. And make it a part of who you are as a unit, not just something you do. Make it who you are. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about confidence, reinforcing the foundation of you, and it all begins with confidence. Um, so you want to you want to remove the pressure of getting fulfilled by others as well when it comes to your relationships and even in personal other aspects of life. Right, you just yeah. want to make sure there, that there you go. that you are not uh, living by or needing mm-hmm. the the acknowledgement of others, the appreciation and approval from others. But that's where the confidence come in comes in, right? You you right. know what your value is that you bring to any situation. So as they say, you bring in you bring in the table. You ain't got to be invited to the table. You bring in the table and the probably table. a couple of chairs because you prepare for this thing. That's it, and <laughs> it it really is. Uh, oftentimes, you find where if I am dating, if I am a relationship, there are things that I may be hurting on the inside of me. That pain that we were talking about uh, earlier, you may truly be in your private world and your relationships really live in that Mm. and you're expecting to find something in someone else to bring joy to this inner pain that you're feeling yourself and that's not fair to you and it's certainly not fair to the person that you're dating to put your lack of fulfillment with you onto someone else to Mm. do the work to bring it to bring you up so that's when you know, they talk about you 50-50 in the relationship when you come together. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it really should be 100-100, you're bringing that That's together. You're you coming to bring as it a together. cool person. Exactly. Yeah. You're not coming as a, as a fraction of, a, yes. of an individual. Yes. We need all of you. <laughs> and so it's important that you are full and fulfilled yourself. And when you're a full and filled, then you can flow over into someone else, into other things mm-hmm. that you're involved in or whatever you do. And complement and not complete. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Reinforcing the foundation of you. It starts with confidence. The confidence you have within you for you. We talked about it from a professional, personal and relationship dating perspective as well. (laughs) So I hope you enjoyed the topic for today. We also, again, have the Day with the Dorsey's contest. Right. I hope you guys are tuned in and have I hope been, so. I, I, I hope you've heard too. about it because I, <laughs> I, I haven't been checking in on the, the emails and correspondence and such because I'm waiting to the end. Right. Right. So there are three things. My husband's going to keep me honest on this. OK. Is it three or is it four? We have three things. Three things. And then okay. the fourth is that you have to be the first to That's do it. this. Right. right. That's OK. It. So then you have to go to first thing. Go to at Jatun, at D-R-J-T-U-N on Facebook, the business page, and make sure that you like all of the episodes for the month of January 2018 for Date with the Dorsey. January 2018 for Date with the Dorsey. <laughs> okay, He's going to keep me straight on this. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to also share, right? Share out the episodes in January Share the episodes in January 2018. The same episodes you liked, you're going to share those out. Okay. (laughs) Number three, you're going to email us at support at fortuneenterprise.com. And in that email, we want you to provide us some type of testimonial. Let us know what you're loving about the show um, and what you'd like to see more of, right? The email address again is support at fortune. And that's I V T U N E enterprise dot com.
That's it. And you have to be the first to do That's all it. those, right? Just be the first. Just be the and, first. And by the way, the, the, like the date, it, it, it's our treat for the record. <laughs> <I don't> want... <laughs> so yeah, like, we're not going to uh, yeah. bring you on this date and do that bait and switch. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no dining and ditching or yeah. any of that. <laughs> That would no. be fun. But no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, you guys make sure that you continue to listen to our podcast, continue to like, share, love, send testimonials, emails, and everything. We love to hear from you all. Uh, with that, we're going to close out yet another, another date, date with, with the Dorsey's. Mm, mm, Bye mm. for now. Bye. Develop a fortune, state of mind, state of mind. It's time for a date with. Time for a date with, a date with the Dorsey's.